Alright guys, welcome back to another tutorial. This one should be fairly simple. Uh, it has some, you know, complicated stuff. Could be a little confusing, but I think, you know, I can explain it and make it, you know, simple enough for most people to understand. Uh, first off, I will show you what I have. Alright, so, again, uh, the weapons you can see they're they're not they're on one's on its back one's on the side you can't see it but if I hit down the d-pad uh, the character pulls out an Uzi and does this little uh, gangster pose uh, up on the d-pad will pull out a pistol left on the d-pad will go back to unarmed and you can just switch around like this and that's basically it all right and I will show you how I did that all right. The only thing I have here is a that's I added to the puppet is a backpack and um, again if you wanna you know you don't have to you just add it to the back of the character. Uh, but for looks, I kind of just added the backpack. Um, so I can show you how to add a. Uh, backpack to your character so if you find a backpack in the you know dreamverse or whatever you can search backpacks or whatever and, uh, and how to group it is you just hit L1X and then L1X again to the actual back so it's gonna actually group right to this part of his back alright and then you can just line it up close and make it all you know perfect however you want it oh shoot what I do. All right, gentlemen. Uh, all right. So, so we have the backpack on the character. So, the only things, and I'm not gonna break this all apart because I don't really wanna. Um, I wanna do. I would try, like to do a little more explaining of what everything is, and I think if I break it all apart and put it together that kind of just you're just watching me do stuff and I'd rather and explain why this does this and this does this alright so first off you're gonna want to go into the backpack alright so L1X will bring you to the grouped into the out you know, scoped into the backpack and you're gonna want to put a microchip on it alright I call this microchip uh, backpack <laughs> fairly simple alright we're not gonna we don't need this at the moment so, you're going to get two tags, right? The tags are here, logic and processing, all right? But two tags, all right? Call one tag pistol position, the other tag Uzi position, all right? So, what those two positions are is that they basically are going to, uh, the weapons are going to teleport and basically be in those positions, all right? So... Now, go into the two um, weapons that you uh, got, uh, and again, you can open them up, and you want to make sure to put, of course, a microchip on the weapons, and this is where you're going to, all of the logic of the weapon is going to be stored, basically, the how much, uh, how big the clip size is, uh, you know, rate of fire, emitters, all that stuff, all right? So I named one Uzi, one pistol. I put a teleporter, and you can find that right in the movers and outputs, teleporter, all right? And what you're gonna wanna do is click these both, match orientation, match target position, and match target orientation. So it's basically the match target position is it's going to go to the spot you want it to go to and this is going to match the orientation so whatever way it's turned and stuff like that it will uh, follow that and the same thing for this but oh yeah so I didn't say you have to put down on the you have to type this in exactly the same or you can push up on the d-pad or down on the d-pad and it'll cycle through um, all the ones all of the uh, tags that you've already have in the scene all right, but you just need to make sure if you are typing it that it's spelled exactly the same as the 
tag. All right, so what's going to happen now is if you just hit play on the um, in on the analog stick, the right analog stick, you can see that the let me get rid of these to make it easier to see the actual weapons teleport to the tags. All right, and again, if you want to move the tags. To certain spots because you might not want like again most likely these are going to be on top of each other they're going to be because if you added them they're going to be these so you probably are going to want to if you hit play you can kind of move it around so like this so you can see where it's going all right of course you wouldn't want it there but maybe you want to rotate it over here or something you know like you want this also on the back you know again it's preference wherever you want to put it and then when you're ready to do the other one you can do this one I actually wanted to pull this one out a little bit so and just like that and again you can rotate it and you know exactly where you want it to be uh, actually I don't even want that like that so let's what about ever? I don't care. I'll leave it there. Uh, again. All right. So basically, that's what we have so far: the two weapons teleporting right to the um, to your backpack. All right. The next thing is, so we're not going to need that at the moment. And yeah. So. Now this is what this is going to do. This is the next step is going to actually allow us to um, to actually equip the weapon. Now this is going to basically, like I said, allow us to equip the weapon, make it go to our hand. All right. So what you're going to need is a selector. All right. All right. You're going to get the selector in the logic and processing. All right. And you're gonna get, um, and then you're gonna take A, and you're gonna open this up, and you go to page three, and then the left, you're gonna have A, right? A is gonna be our unarmed. B is gonna be our basically switching to our pistol, and down is gonna be switching to our uh, Uzi. All right, so. Once you have that, you're going to want to get three of these uh, in logic sensors and inputs. You're going to want three wireless transmitter transmitters. All right. And one you're going to call unarmed for now. The second is going to be pistol equipped. And then the third is going to be Uzi equipped. Make sure all of these, oh yeah, so there you go. That's all you need to do, all right? All right, now we're basically done with that. So what's gonna happen with this selector is, is it's gonna allow you to, again, select certain things and then it'll basically toggle this these off. So it's, you know, you're only gonna be doing one at a time. So when you're in A, pushing up you'll be on you'll you'll be um all pushing left on the d-pad you'll be unarmed and um again down and so forth all right so once we have that we're really done with that so the next step is to now what we would want now is All right, so you want to pull up your pistol equipped, all right? So when you, let's see, gadgets. Uh, all right, so we had the wireless transmitter. This is a wireless receiver. So this is basically just, without wires, basically, it's getting that information that you had on the controller logic. So this, is sending it to here. All right, so your Uzi equipped is sending it here. All right. 
So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add a uh, pistol equipped here. All right. Again, you can cycle through on the up and down on the D-pad. And here you're going to want it to be in scene. All right. You don't want it'll basically detect it anywhere. And then the same thing for that pistol position, Uzi position. Again, you want to want these two tags, but these two tags, you're going to move these two tags to the position of the hand. All right. So first it's going to, you're going to have this uh, in your backpack, right? So if it's not in your hand, and then basically you're gonna want the same thing, pistol equipped, Uzi equipped. And you're gonna wanna not, and then power it into there. So if it's not in his, so if it's basically not in the hand, cause it's gonna go to the hands, right? But again, if it's not in the hand, it's gonna be on the backpack or it'll, yeah, it'll be in this position pistol position it'll be in this position right then if you when you hit up on the deep up on the d-pad or down on the d-pad it's going to go into this position all right so again all you need to do is move these tags to where you want them to be all right and again, now we can check that, all right? So, oh, again, I have to um, get rid of something because you don't have that yet. It's this and this. All right. So, what will happen is you're going to see it's going to go there, all right? And again, oh yeah, so another thing I did not mention, when you put this microchip on the hand, because that's where this, these, uh, the pistol and the Uzi are going. So when you put that here, make sure you scope into the hand. So L1X, L1X twice, and then it will scope into the hand. So once it's on the hand, you basically are good there and that will basically is going to allow you to switch from here to here all right and then left on the d-pads unarmed down and up all right and then what you can do easily now is add an animation all right and all you need to do again this is again we didn't add up and down looking so these you don't really want these like this I believe yeah I don't think you'd want them like this at the moment but just to show you quickly how to do it what you can do is I'll get this I'll get these out of here you're gonna want another uh, wireless receiver and a wireless receiver and again one's pistol equipped and the other is Uzi equipped and you want to do, make sure to do scene all right and you make sure they're called pistol equipped all right so all right so what you can do is again we can put this in a gadget uh, microchip And we can just call this, I don't know, animations for now. Animations, all right. And then what you can do is you can take this, put this in here, put this in here, all right. And then get yourself a go to, uh, not modes, go to animate and grab a keyframe, all right. 
And again, I'll show you just one because the other one is basically the same. Uh, so what you do is you want to scope into this. You want to put guides on, precise. Scope into the arm, L1 up, and what about 90 degrees, and then stop. So what happens is this will only animate when, again, when you're equipped. All right, so I can show you how that one works. So again, the weapons teleport to your back. If you push down on the Uzi, we didn't do it yet, so it just stays like that. If you push up on the D-pad, the pistol, it shows it's equipped. Oh, and here's another quick little thing that I can show you. See how the weapon really wiggles around? You can actually fix that by making sure when you do the keyframing, you at least keyframe all of this, right? So this, this lets you know that you have been, this has been edited. So if you hit R2 quickly on those, it shows that all these dashes are equipped or have been edited. All right, so now when I push up on the D-pad, see it's not doing that running pose. It's staying straight. And that looks pretty good. And again, you can do the same thing for the uh, for the Uzi. Again, you want to scope in, make sure. Uh, 90. Again, I did the little tilt. You can do it however you want it. Um, again, make sure that you you um, click on all of these because now oh, see, I always do that and plug it in. Now, yeah. Do not forget that because I forget it all the time. Alright, so that works. That works. Pretty good. And again, you can uh, take the keyframes and oops, make them I don't know, power them up a little bit. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Wait, power up and down. Same thing. And again. And it really doesn't matter, it just switches. It only does it if. Oh, that's really. Well, whatever for now. Uh, Alright, so. That's basically simple weapon switching. All right, unarmed, left on the D-pad, up, down, and there you go. So again, I think that was fairly simple. Uh, you know, hopefully the next one I'll add in um, some some shooting. Uh, we can have some emitters and stuff and. Uh, so uh, again, yeah, let me know what you guys think. If this was easy enough to follow along. Uh, and um, again, I will see you in the next one. Uh, peace.